the Williams strategy with the chassis. Now, um, Alex Albon, a crash in FP1, and all this feels like a distant memory now with all the stuff that happened you know, during the main race. Um, but Albon yeah. had the crash and damaged the, the tub on the car, you know, the main bit of the chassis, which they couldn't repair. It was beyond right. repair. And Williams then ended up... Yeah, they were saying they had yeah. holes in it. Yeah, like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. That's it. And, 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 you know, it just was too much for them to repair in that short space of time. And so then they obviously announced that this was the only chassis per driver. So then they've decided to, to take... Logan Sargent out of the car um, and put Alex Albon in, um, which caused a lot of upset. I understand it from the sporting aspect because Alex Albon, yeah, you know, let's not beat around the bush here. He is a better driver than Logan Sargent. No, you're not. But <laughs> yes, um, for Williams to just be in that state where they can't bring another chassis because of money or it's just not being prepared i thought they had been sorted with this money now um you know with the investment and things like that but they've actually luke not had the spare chassis for all of the races so far this season and probably will still not have it for japan which i just think is absolutely insane if the, how could any of the drivers keep focused when they have the fear that one crash and that's the weekend completely over you're yeah no you're you summed it up pretty well there yeah if they don't have the resources to you know keep themselves afloat it's 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 not good it looks rocky everyone is you know I'm a little bit yeah exactly a lot of people I'm a little better rooting for Williams too you know they want to see them doing well Logan you know people have their own opinions on Logan Sargent but I think as a whole a lot of people would be are rooting for Williams you know we have consistent you know we have like consistent up like performance promises from them and we're seeing albon and some sometimes sergeant sort of perform on what those promises are you know so yeah ultimately it was just unfair to sergeant you know as a strategy you know you're right Te like they are right technically albon will definitely like albon will definitely have a higher like higher chance of getting points for the weekend but still it sucks just to have to lose your seat you know especially in such a manner where you didn't do anything wrong you know you didn't have a crash you know taking the times in free practice one he was only like you know sergeant was at the end of the day he was only like a tenth behind his, it was only like a tenth behind his teammate you know it's just like it just sucks I, and i ultimately i feel for sergeant you know he's He's going to be struggling, or he might be struggling throughout the season to prove that he deserves an F1 seat. So getting kicked out of one of the races, it's just going to make it that much harder for him. It's just unfortunate. I know this might sound a bit harsh, but I think that's Logan Sargent done. Because if that if that's the way they see it, then he's certainly clearly there for money. Um, and if he was good enough or they had confidence in him, they would just leave him in the car and, and hope that he would get the points. But for them to literally... Um, take him out. Oh man, I just think that's total vote of no confidence. It's hard. Though. Yeah, it's got to be hard on him, especially you know. It's like there's nothing you, can, you know. There's nothing you can really do or say for him. <laughs> and they it's didn't just, get the point. You know, they technically only. Yeah, and they only technically let him in the seat because he made his. He made his uh, requirement by technicality. Remember, I mean, we even talked mm, about that last yeah, year. Yeah. I don't remember if it was which race it was. If it was Singapore or I don't know something near the end, where technically his only goal was he had to technically get P10 in a race to stay in the team, and he did it on a technicality because I don't remember who it was, but someone had a penalty above him, and that just gave him the boost. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, yeah, you're right. It might be this is like a bit of a farewell to Logan Sargent. You know, it's it's unfortunate. I would love to see him in the sport more because he's a young driver and we could see him develop into something good. But it's like Williams probably can't take the risk. You know, if they can get someone more consistent in the seat, even like a Kimi or even another, even if it's a young driver like Kimi Antonelli or Oliver Bearman or someone with like at least promise or whatever else they need, you know, it, it's just they're going to need that instead of Sargent if Sargent can't perform or he had, or if even if we find him having like issues later on the season, technically he's been consistent for these three, like for the first two races, he didn't crash out, but it's like, 
if he's not fast enough, it's not worth it, you know, especially if Albon can get P10 or P9. That's the thing. At the end of the day, there's a lot of drivers knocking on the door at the minute to get into F1, and the demand is as high as ever uh, for young drivers <clears> to come through. And so, yeah, it'll be yeah. interesting to keep an eye on this one, but I actually think I agreed with the thought process behind William's decision, but I didn't agree with the whole thing that they got themselves into this situation anyway of like not having a, another chassis yeah. you know come on you know it's like the um the sauber thing come on guys this is basic stuff